okay, okay. My room is a total mess right now, so you're not gonna focus on that. You're gonna focus on me, okay? Eyes on me, not this. I don't know what I'm talking about. Two. I've started my double life. If you're away at college right now, or you've ever been, you know what I'm talking about. You get stripped away from all the friendships that you strive most of your life to build and keep strong. And you're seated into a new town with new people, with new experiences, and new possibilities. I've changed. And I didn't really realize it until I looked back at the person that I was in high school. I wasn't, not to say that I was a bad person in high school, of course, but I can just see that I've grown as a person. Yeah. Even though I've changed, I still have a separate life here at home and back at school. It's kind of a weird feeling because I've never had to experience something like that. But I still love both of them equally. It's just a weird feeling and I wonder if I'll ever get used to it. Zero. This year I got my first zero on a test. Yeah, I screwed up. <laughs> my first exam, the very first exam of my college career, I slept through. And yeah, no, no makeups, no do-overs, no. I took a zero on my first test in college. I ended up passing the class with a high C. I, if I would have made a 98 on the final, I would have made a B in the class, but 86 on the final. I'm okay, I'm happy with it. I've accepted it by now, but it was a learning experience and a true eye-opener to the reality that is a life where I have to take responsibilities for my own mistakes. One. I made my first hundred dollars on YouTube this year. To be more specific, I made my first hundred dollars on YouTube two days ago. I've been on YouTube since 2014, and I haven't posted a lot of videos, but I definitely have seen my videos improve in quality and enjoyment of myself making them. It's something that I want to continue doing, and it's something that I truly love and have a passion for. And I never started this channel for money, I just wanted to learn and grow my abilities and just have fun with something that I like to do and I definitely have accomplished that and I look forward to continuing, continuing, and I look forward to continuing to accomplish that and the money is just an awesome little side effect of that. And I know $100 isn't a ton, but it's just awesome for me to have something, you know, to feel proud of. Like, I am proud of that $100 because I poured my soul into every single video that I posted, and I know that I put a ton of hard work into all the videos that I posted, and $100 for something that I love doing is plenty for me. Six. Okay, this was a tough one, um, so it's kind of a reach, but stay with me because I think it has a good ending, a good overall moral. Don't mind me looking at my notes over here because it's kind of hard to memorize all this stuff. I can't even talk. According to Wikipedia, since six is equal to the sum of its proper divisors, one, two, and three, six is the smallest perfect number. And I believe that I have a small perfect. I'm in the perfect school, with the perfect people, for the perfect reasons. God's reasons. I go through rough times here and there, and I wouldn't be human if I didn't. But I was given a small perfect. My small perfect. And I'll take it. Okay, it's the last day of 2016. Whether you think this was the worst year in history of forever or you think this year could not have gone better. It was a really important year for me and for a lot of people. My life has changed throughout this year in so many different ways. 
2016 is the year that I graduated high school, the year that I left my friends and family behind and went to college at Texas State University, the year that I found new friends and a second family. This year, I became closer to God through a church that I believe I was placed into. Through this church, I found friends, fun, God, and a little bit of myself. I'm still finding myself more and more every single day. While not perfect, I am a strong, smart, and influential person. And I want to make sure that I use those qualities in a meaningful way in 2017 and in the rest of my life. So in case you wondered what my New Year's resolution is, there you go. Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that's had any impact in my life throughout 2016 and throughout the rest of my life for that matter. I love all of you, whether you are part of my inner circle family and best friends, or if you're just someone that watches my videos every now and then, thank you so much. Have a happy New Year's everyone, and welcome 2017. That's how I sync my audio, in case you wondered.